Grade 8 math number 6.1D, identify functions from graphs. Well, as we've said in the last few videos, a function assigns exactly one output for each input. And on our little function machine here, there's a rule. This one's 4x. And that's how these two are related. It's by that 4x. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 is the input. 8 is the output. For each input, there's one output. Well, the dot patterns on a graph will give away whether it's a function or not. Dots are above each other show it's not a function. That's the relationship. A function relationship is a function rule like that 4x. That's the rule for this function, okay? So graphs can be used to show relationships, the rules between two sets of numbers, and each point on a graph represents an ordered pair of x and y values. The x is the input and the first number, and the y is the output and the second number. The graph will represent a function if each input value is paired with only one output value. Now, I think graphs are the easiest way to see if something's a function or not. Because we can just look at a graph and instantly know the relationship is not a function because one point, one dot, will be right above the other point, another dot. Just like in this graph. Look at this. Look at how these points are right above each other. See? These are the x values. We can see there's dots above other dots, so this is not a function. When the dots are above each other, that means the x values, the input, is repeating. So if this is in between 4 and 5, this would be 4 and a half. So there's a value for 4 and a half and another value for 4 and a half. And here it's in between 7 and 8, so it's 7 and a half. So there's a 7.5 and, and a 7.5 and for the x values. The x's are repeating, so it's not a function. Now in this graph, these points each have a separate x value input, so it is a function. Each one of these, look at the x is a 3, the x is a 6, the x is an 8, the x is a 10. All these x values are different and have their own y value, their own output. So this is a function. There are no dots on top of the other dots. See? This is the easiest way to tell if there's a function or not. It's through a graph. Okay? Now, there's another way to tell, and it's called the vertical line test. And we're going to talk about that in the very next video, 6.1e. And it's a widely used way to see if it's a function or not. The vertical line test. Hope to see you there. Bye.